Well, welcome to 2.2 linear, linear equations and two variables. Linear equation and two variables. A linear equation and two variables, x and y, what to do with go x and y? Could be um, x and t, or it could be something else, but usually x and y. It is an equation that can be written in the form ax plus by equals c. Now, this is the standard form. I'm not a fan of the standard form. I like the slope intercept form, it's the most useful form where a, b, and c are constants and the a and b are not both zero. This form of such an equation is called the standard form. So example one, determine if the following are linear equations. So what I want to point out back here, it's ax to the one power plus by to the one power equals c. a, b, and c are constants. The point is that x and y are to the one power. They're linear. If they're squared, or to the third power, or a fourth power, it's not going to be even negative one power. It's not going to be linear. So in this case right here, is this an equation, a linear equation? The answer is yes. I mean, we can expand this a little bit if you want. It'd be 9x plus 4y minus 4x equals 3, or 5x plus 4y equals 3. This is yes, it's a linear equation. But the next one, we have a 3x, we have a 2y, but we have this xy. With that product in there, that's not going to be linear. So x times y makes this not linear. Let's look at C. If we expand this, this is x squared plus 2xy plus y squared minus the quantity x squared minus 2xy minus y squared equals 1. So we have x squared plus 2xy plus x plus y squared minus x squared plus 2xy, and I'm sorry, this should have been a plus y squared minus y squared equals 1. So some things will go away. x squareds go away, y squareds go away, but we're still left with this 2xy plus a 2xy. So it's 4xy equals 1. And for the same reason as a previous problem, this is not linear. Now the next one x squared minus 2x equals 3 minus x squared plus y. I can add x squared to both sides and we have 2x squared minus 2x equals 3 plus y. So for the sake of this x squared alone, this is not going to be linear because you have an x squared. Pause if you'd like. I'm going to go on, scroll up a little bit. Now the x-intercept is the point at which it crosses the, the line crosses the x-axis, whereas the y-intercept is the point where the line crosses the y-axis. To find the x-intercept, set y equal to 0, because that's the value of y on the x-axis, it's 0, and then you solve for the x. And to find the y-intercept, well, what's the value of x on the y-axis? It's 0, and then you solve for y. To graph y-intercepts, plot each intercept on the appropriate axis and draw the line through the points. Example 1 says, uh, determine, or example 2, determine the x and y-intercepts of the linear equations and then graph the equations. So the x-intercept, you have y equals 0, so it's 0 minus 3x equals 9. Negative 3x is 9. Divide by negative 3, x is negative 3. So we have the point negative 3 comma 0. This is the x-intercept. If I said x equals negative 3 is the x-intercept, that's not an intercept. A point has got two parts, the x and the y. So we have negative 3, 0. And for the y-intercept, x equals 0. 
So y minus 3 times 0 equals 9, y equals 9. I guess I could rescale this too, but I'm going to go with that dot up there. And there's our line. I'll need to erase this so I can get to the next one. So I'm moving on. The next two on the screen together. And the board. There we go. So we have y minus x equals x minus y. So the x-intercept has y equal to 0. So 0 minus x equals x minus 0. Negative x equals x. Adding x to both sides, 0 equals 2x. And divide by 2, x equals 0. So it's 0, 0. For the y-intercept, x equals 0. So it's y minus 0 equals 0 minus y y equals negative y, add y, 2y equals 0, so y equals 0. That's a 0, 0. Same point. So doing the intercepts, we only got one point. We need to graph some other points. How about x equals 2? y minus 2 equals 2 minus y. If I add 2 to both sides and add y to both sides, 2y equals 4, or y equals 2. So x being 2, we have y being 2. On the next one here, we have 4 minus 2y equals negative 2 minus 6x. So we'll do the x-intercept first. y equals 0. So 4 minus 2 times 0 equals negative 2 minus 6x. 4 equals negative 2 minus 6x. So I'll add 2 to both sides. 6 equals negative 6x. Divided by negative 6, x equals negative 1. So negative 1, 0. For the y-intercept, x is 0. So we have 4 minus 2y equals negative 2 minus 6 times 0. We'll so subtract the 4 from both sides. Negative 2y is negative 6. And divided by negative 2, y equals 3. So we have 0, 3. on here. Feel free to pause. The graph of x equals c is a vertical line with the x-intercept at c0, and the graph of y equals c is a horizontal line with the y-intercept at 0c. A little counterintuitive. People think y equals something should be a vertical line because y has a vertical axis, but no. It's a horizontal line. X equals a number is a vertical line. Last page here. We're going to graph 2x equals 8. Let's see if I can get these both on the same view. Nope, can't do it. So if I divide by 2, I have x equals 4. So x equals 4 is a vertical line that goes through. 4, 0. Okay, I'm going to go to the next one, our last one for this section. Three y equals negative nine. Divide by three, y equals negative three. So it's a horizontal line through negative three.
Okay. And that'll do it for section 2.2, linear equations in two variables. Some of your questions. Thank you.